Hello and welcome to this brand new YouTube series, Living With an E36 M3, proudly sponsored by BOTB. I'm here with Christian from BOTB, and the reason that I'm here is because you're going to be telling us about some kick-ass prizes that you've got every single week. That is true. Every single week at BOTB, we give away a dream car. But not only that, every single episode, we're going to be giving away £150 worth of tickets. So when you sign up at BOTB, make sure you put the Eurocar Hopper member in the surprise section on your account. And every episode, we're going to be announcing a winner. That's pretty awesome. Awesome enough, in fact, to warrant some Flexing! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's quite impressive. Oh, cheers, dude. I've got to go now. Okay, See ya. Bye. bye. This is the E36 M3 in question. His name is Colin, and a lot of you guys will know him as Colin the Lemon. Lemon because I kind of screwed up and bought a really, really, really rusty M3. But I am very proud to say that all that rust has disappeared because 2,000 pounds worth of uh, rust repair has completely cleaned him up. So now Colin looks the part, and underneath he's also got structural rigidity. So um, yeah, we were literally just about to start filming um, the in-car bit and I was putting up my window and then and then I heard a really horrible noise and the window has now disappeared down there you bought a really good car top, top, no top condition. I haven't I actually haven't apologies usually the window would be up and then you'd be able to hear me quite well but you're probably just going to be able to hear loads of uh, loads of wind noise now that's part of living with an E36 M3 the windows don't really work okay Let's get cracking anyway. So we've got the 3.2 litre straight six with 321 horsepower from the factory. Uh, we're going to dyno it soon and find out how many horses have been lost. I'm hoping no more than 20, but this doesn't really feel like a particularly quick car. Colin, my E36 M3 is a near 20 year old car. So the steering is slow by modern standards and a buggered shock absorber on the rear right means that the tire scrapes around left handers. Uh, uh, yep, you heard that. But apart from that, there are no knocks or rattles to mention and on the motorway, the interior noise is surprisingly hushed. Of course, that'll change soon because I've just bought a new back box, which I'll be installing in the next few weeks. The sunroof works, check it out. Look at that, it's even automatic. The noise of the standard E36 M3. I mean, it sounds all right, but with a stainless exhaust, imagine that zing on here. That would really be beautiful. A few things to point out is the beautiful Estoril blue color, which is I mean, it's pretty flawless. So there is pretty much zero rust left on this car. Um, and it's very, very standard. There are no modifications to this car whatsoever, apart from the BOTB sticker and a few other stickers just for a bit more horsepower. Even the exhaust, the old twin exit exhaust, that's standard too, and um, it's pretty heavy. Now, these are pretty old cars, so not that direct nor feelsome. I mean, you've got to turn the wheel quite a lot to get it round corners. You compare that to a modern car and it feels like the steering rack on a modern car is about twice as quick. But um, we do have hydraulic steering, none of that electric steering. So a bit more feel than modern cars. And uh, the gearbox, very notchy. It's a very manly kind of throw. You've got to, you've got to manhandle it quite a lot. But when you get into the groove, then driving one of these things fast is, uh, is a joy. Uh, this car is actually quicker than I give it credit for, but the only way that you can extract the power from this engine is when you're well above 4,000 RPM. That's when Vanos kicks in, yo. But below that, it feels like quite a sluggish car. This, um, this weighs about 1,460 kilograms. So 
It is fairly heavy. I mean, we've got heavy leather seats. We've got loads of electrics, etc. And it is very nice on a long journey. You've got electric everything. When it works, it's nice. When it doesn't work, not so nice. I paid £6,900 for my M3 Lemon, and with £2,000 worth of rust repair, the car owes me £8,900. And yes, that's a lot of money, but the E36 M3 is a car I've wanted forever. And with prices on the rise, I'm not worried about losing money if and when the time comes to sell. We've got original M3 wheels, and on the inside, it is all M3 business as usual. We've got the uh, Vadar interior, and we've got the uh, standard E36 problem here. Got a bit of droop here, so uh, this plastic piece has gone missing. The uh, trip computer, I think, is on the uh, blink a little bit because I've owned this car for about six months and I haven't been able to set the time. In terms of MPG, what am I getting? I'm going to have a look at the old consumption. So consumption one, 22.6 MPG. So that is what I'm getting overall. And that doesn't include hooning. If you're hooning, then you'll be getting closer to about 15, I reckon. If you can swallow 22.6 MPG, then go for it. Overall, I'm happy that I bought this lemon. Sure, it's cost me more than I budgeted for, but I'm glad to have saved another cool car from a life of track abuse. My E36 M3 might have its faults, but when a car looks this cool, I simply don't give a damn how many times it decides to eat its own window. Oh, I just remembered I've got to fix the window. That sucks. Damn. And that. The scraping. Yeah, that. Join us next time when we take Colin to the dyno to see how many horses have been lost in 20 years and to find out just how close I can get to its official 0-60 mile an hour time.